And finally, of course, B. John Robinson. Um, the comps for me and Rick are Saquon Barkley. And he came in at 5'11 on the dot, 215, ran a 446. Emery, what was your comp for him? And what's a good fit for him? Because I'll tell you, and Rick brought this up initially last week on the podcast, and I put it in my mock draft this week. I had him going 14 to the Patriots just because it helps solve a lot of needs for the Patriots offensively. He probably goes later than that. Uh, but do you have a comp for Bijan and where, where are some good fits for him? You know, I, I compared him to Cedric Benson. Um, oh, nice. I, I don't I don't particularly see the Saquon, although I do respect you guys' opinion <laughs> and ability to make these comps. Um, Man, you, you pick it up quick. <laughs> well, I respect your opinion, but go back and watch him catch it of all. <laughs> well, well here, here's why I don't think he's Saquon, because he doesn't have that – jittery explosiveness that Saquon had. Say, well, I could put one run from Saquon's college career up against any runs you put up from Bijan, and that one run is against USC, where he just had to bounce it outside, make three different moves, work back across the middle of the field, and still had enough juice to outrun everyone to the end zone. Bijan has nothing like that on tape. And Bijan, to me, sometimes doesn't always play as physical as you would like. I feel like there's too often where one guy brings him down. Um, I, I think I like you to break that tackle. But what I love about Bijan is the fact that, first of all, handling pressure. And we all want guys that are able to handle that pressure uh, going into a, a pro game because that's what it's all about. But I'm talking about being the, the top recruit, the star running back at that program with that lineage and not stinking. A lot of guys fold with that type of ancillary pressure on them. He rose to the occasion. I feel like he didn't get utilized enough at Texas. Um, he's another one that you can put at receiver and allow him to be a slot guy. So like I view him with Gibbs, he's a game day matchup piece. OK, today we're going to utilize your receiving skills a little bit more so than your ability to run the football. Hey, in this game, we're going to need you to carry the football 20 to 24 times because that's what the, the matchup dictates. So he has the vision. He has the footwork. And what I like most about him, and this is a subtle running back, running backy thing that I've noticed about Bijan specifically is how he's able to make those last-second moves within a confined space. And I always use this as an example for Bijan when talking about him. Remember Marcus Allen in the Super Bowl against Washington? Not the long run, but the shorter one where he was inside the five where he had cut it back, and right before he he was losing balance, and right before he dove for the goal line, he made another subtle move that kind of bought him enough space to be able to dive for the end zone. That's type of stuff that... That's a that's a, a hell of a lot of nuance, and you see that with Bijan that he's able to make that that uh, second reaction move in a confined space that not a lot of backs can do. So for me, I love the the prospect. Talked with him, love the kid, and I think he's going to be a fantastic pro. I compared him to Cedric Benson, so I'm looking at him going to where I wish he can go to some place like Miami. I wish he can go to some place like uh, New Orleans. I think they need a, a guy that can set the table for. And Alvin Kamara, who operates better, in my opinion, off of, you know, in a complimentary role, Bijan could be that Mark Ingram, could be that Deuce McAllister for Reggie Bush, can be that Pierre Thomas for Reggie Bush. He can be that guy for Alvin Kamara. And I feel like that's where uh, some ideal fits for me, for Bijan. I know Chicago is an easy one as well. Any back that goes with a mobile quarterback is going to have success. But I feel like when you think about Bijan, Saints, Dolphins, Buffalo, they need a they need a, a back um, that can set the table as well. I think those are some great fits. Rick, what do you think about Buffalo, James Cook, and then Bijan? Yeah, uh, because Cook is like a one B or more of the receiver uh, opposite of what Bijan Robinson is. He's not a guy that can tote the rock and carry it 25, 30 times a game. Um, so I think that would be a, a, a great combination. <laughs> 